Let's understand mode. So mode is a value that occurs most frequently in the distribution and we call this as mode. Now we have two examples in the ungrouped data. So we would be calculating mode for both the ungrouped and the grouped data today. In the ungrouped data, it is very, very simple. So I have in the first case, five values, 50, 40, 15, 15 and five. Now here 15 occurs twice. So 15 is the mode, but there is only one number which is occurring twice. And Therefore, we call this as a unimodal distribution. So you have only one mode that occurs twice and therefore it is unimodal. It can occur thrice, four times, five times, but there is just one value which is showing a repetitive behavior. So it is unimodal. The next is another a case of ungrouped data where I have example as 50, 40, 40, 15, 15. So I have two values which are occurring twice, 15 and 40. Now, since there are two values which are occurring, both of these values are occurring twice, we call this as bimodal because there would be two peaks that would be witnessed. If there are values which occur three times, same number of, same number of values occurring three times, we call this as a trimodal and there can be multimodal as well. So there is how we understand mode in a ungrouped data very very simple the maximum number of time you have the repetition for the distribution it is symbolized as z or mo so that is the usual connotation that we use and this is for the ungrouped data coming on to the grouped data we need to understand the mode carefully so what we do is we first find out where we have we have the class intervals 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. And the units are 2, 4, 3, 5 and 1. Okay, the units are 2, 4, 3, 5 and 1. Now, what I do is I have the formula here. Let's first understand the formula. It is L. L is the lower limit of the modal class. So modal class I know is which value is repeating maximum number of time 30 to 40 the values between 30 to 40 so 30 to 40 becomes my modal class so 30 is the lower limit of the modal class plus what I do is frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the class preceding it so in this case the frequency of the modal class is 5 the frequency preceding it is 3 divided by twice the frequency of the modal class which is 2 into 5 minus the frequency of the preceding class which is 3 and the frequency of the class following it which is 1. So minus 3 minus 1 multiplied by h which is the class interval 10. So here what I have is 30 plus in the bracket I would have 2 divided by 10 minus 4 which is 6 multiplied by 10. So I would have 30 plus 1 by 3 into 10. So 30 plus 3.33 which is 33.33 is my mode for this grouped data. I repeat again mode the formula is very simple. It is L which is the lower limit plus the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the class preceding it divided by twice the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the class preceding it minus the frequency of the class following it multiplied by the class interval and that is how we calculate mode for a grouped data very very simple very very straightforward method where you have to directly apply formula so this is how we understand mode for both the grouped data as well as the ungrouped data